Hello and welcome. Today I'll be showing you how to upgrade your Yearlink handsets. I'll be using a T46S but it generally applies to them all across the board. So before you open up your web browser, we'll need the IP address of the handset. By default the OK button is set up as the status key, so if you hit the OK button, it will bring up the IPv4 address which is what you enter in your address bar. So the IP address of this handset is 10.2.2.23. If you do see that warning signal up above, don't worry about it, it just means that the handset's password is default at the moment, which you should be changing um, later on anyway. So now onto the web browser. So up the top in the address bar, you type in the handset's address, 10.2.2.23, I think it was, yeah. And that gets you to the login screen. Default username and password is admin admin. So once you're in, take note of the firmware version that you're at. Go up to settings, upgrade, and then, oh, it also shows the firmware there too. And on the right hand side, you can see this option, click here to get more product documents. So if you click on that, it'll take you to the Yearlink website. And then you'll see on the left there, you can click on desktop IP phones and you look for the model number of handset that you have. In this case, it's a T46S. Okay. Then you look for the firmware file, which ends in .rom. Usually they have the word new on the right hand side and with the latest date. So you just click on that link, download the file save it somewhere you'll remember so you must wait for the download to complete three two one done so once it's done go back to the first tab back to the yearling handset so under upgrade hit the browse button and select the firmware file you've just downloaded okay hit open and then upload it'll pop up with a message saying it'll take about five minutes to do the upload and the upgrade so not to turn off the power so I'll bring up the handset on the handset you'll see that it starts its firmware upgrade process and like the message said it takes about five minutes for it to do its thing and the web browser will stay as it is right now until it's finished the upgrade then it will revert back to the login screen and the handset will revert back to its normal screen all its data should still be there as well it should not default while we're waiting you could smash that like button guys it really helps me out it encourages me to make more videos and hopefully I can help you guys even more I'll skip to the end because it's quite boring sitting here waiting for it to do something so it's bear with me. So once you see the screen on the handset switch to welcome, you know it's complete and it's just booting up. Then when it's ready you will notice that the web browser goes back to the login screen and you can log back in. Anytime now. There you go. Done. So now if we log back into the web browser with admin admin. see at the top that the firmware has been upgraded and you're done and if you've got nothing else to do so hit log out at the top and close the window thank you for watching guys if this was of any help please like the video subscribe to my channel and keep in touch with new videos thank you